Hello everyone, in my previous video, I made this fully automatic Wi-Fi router UPS. After testing it for a few weeks, I identified some problem. In this video, I will show you how I solved it. Also, I will show my full Wi-Fi router setup. I have uploaded my final circuit. Check out the link in video description. Issue 1. When the main power is turned off, while battery is charging, there was a reverse current flow from battery to SMPS and other components. Issue 2. When the battery fully charged, the charge controller has to disconnect the battery from charging. Instead, it starts to ping relay and stuck in a loop. This happens due to the reverse current flow. Issue 3. When the main power is turned off, there was a few seconds delay in switching to battery, which will restart the Wi-Fi router. Issue 4. The battery charging module is overheating even with less load. The reason is it does not have any heatsink for cooling. To prevent the reverse current flow from battery, I am going to use this Scotty Barrier Dev, which will solve the charge controller tripping issue and reverse current flow issue. To prevent the overheating of charging module, I am going to replace it with a high power module with heatsink. I disconnected the main power and battery before removing the components. First I removed the charging module. Since the charging module needs to be turned on 24 into 7, it's not good to have the overheating module. Also there is no space to add the heatsink in this module. I set the charging voltage to 17V instead of 16.8V because there will be a voltage drop at the Scotty barrier diode. And I set the charging current to 1 amp. Since the new charging module does not have any voltmeter, I have to add this volt and amp meter module to monitor the voltage and current while testing. I have soldered the OIS to diode and insulated it. I installed the charging module and connected the voltmeter connections. I connected the battery and main power for testing. Now when I turned off the main power while charging, there is no reverse current flow. And when fully charged, the charging turns off normally and there is no heat produced in charging module. Now the three major issues are resolved. I also did the battery discharge test. I turned off the main power and started discharging a battery with load. When the battery is fully discharged up to 10 volt, the BMS turns off the battery to prevent the over discharge. I turned on the main power to charge the battery but it doesn't work. Now the another problem is when the BMS turns off the battery output, the charge controller will not able to get the power to turn on the charging. The reason is the charge controller uses the battery power to work. To turn on the BMS again, we need to charge the battery by bypassing the charge on off controller. I measured the BMS output, it shows 1 volt and the series connection output is actually 12.5 volt. So the no load voltage after over discharge protection is around 12.5 volt. I bypassed the charge controller for few seconds using the jumper cable. Now the BMS turned on and the battery started charging. I am going to use the push button switch as a BMS reset switch which will bypass the charge controller to turn on the BMS after over discharge. For testing, I over discharge the battery and the BMS is turned off. Now I turned on the main power but the battery is not charging. I press the reset switch, now the battery is started charging. I also have another idea to make it automatic by using the triple fly timer circuit. By using the timer circuit, you can turn on the relay for few seconds when the main power is on and turn off after the few seconds of time delay. Using this, you can bypass the charge on off controller module for few seconds to turn on the BMS. I have soldered all the components together into the PCB board. After soldering, the module just works fine. Also using the trim pot, you can adjust the time delay. But still I am not going to use this module, since my battery backup time was up to 16 to 18 hours. Rarely the battery might get fully discharged for me, so the push button switch is more than enough for my usage.
To reduce the time delay while switching from main power to battery, I am going to replace the buck converter with buck boost converter. Also I am going to add the high capacity capacitors. Currently I have only one buck boost converter. So I am going to use it for Wi-Fi router output. And for modem output, I am going to use the same buck converter with additional capacitor. I have replaced the converter modules and added some capacitors at its outputs. I installed the modules back and glued the capacitors. Now let's test the switching delay after changing the module and adding capacitors. First I am going to test the 12V module output with buck converter. I turned off the main power and it switches to battery. Even after adding capacitor, there was still a time delay. So now let's test the 9V output with buck boost converter. I turned off the main power. Now while switching there wasn't any delay after using the buck boost converter. The reason is when we use the buck boost converter, it will try to maintain the constant voltage at the output even if the input is lesser than output. So using the buck boost converter at the output will provide the better results. Now I am going to install and test it with my Wi-Fi setup. I removed the power adapter connections and replaced with my Wi-Fi router outputs. 12V for modem and 9V for router. Please note each and every modem and router has a different current and voltage rating. Please check your power adapter label and make sure you set the proper voltage before connecting. And select the proper rated components for your application. Any wrong voltage selection could damage your router. Now for live testing, when I turned off the main power, the router doesn't restart. But the modem restarts because I used the buck boost converter only for router outputs. So the connected device will not get disconnected. If you like this video, please subscribe and hit the bell icon for more videos.